hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll look at how we can install metasploitable on our vmware workstation now metasploitable is a linux uh, machine that we can use for penetration testing so it's kind of a penetration testing lab in a box sort of so we can use these to test some of the penetration testing tools like nmap now we'll be installing this on our vmware workstation like i said so we need to download the image so you just open a browser and search for metasploitable download and then you want to go to sourceforge and also to rapid7 so this is where we'll do the download you see there is an option to download here just click download and the download should begin and it's about 800 uh, MBs. So I already did the download. I'm going to X this out. The other site is uh, Rapid7. This one, if you click on this option, there's a video here that gives a brief introduction of what is Metasploitable and how does it work. So you can watch the video. Once you have the image, we'll proceed with the installation. So open your vmware workstation and then go to the folder where you downloaded the image it's going to be in a zip file you will need to unzip it or unpack it so let's do let's use 7-zip here and then extract here we should get a new folder and this is the new folder right here i can double click it to open it so you have five files in this folder so let's go ahead and uh, do the installation on vm or workstation click on file and click on open and then navigate to where you have the folder th that we just extracted so in here so the file available is the vmx so click on it this is one of the files that is in that directory that we just extracted click open and it should create a new virtual machine right here you can right click it and go to the settings they already uh, selected the memory size you can increase it if you want let me increase this to 1 GB processor 1 that's fine the hard disk that's fine let me change this to bridge since I want to be able to access this from my other devices on the local network here and I'll click OK. Now I can go ahead and power on this virtual machine. Right click, power, startup guest. And then I'm just going to say I moved it. And it's booting up. And it's done um, at the login prompt. So the login information is uh, MSF admin and uh, the password is MSF admin. So it's MSF admin, password MSF admin. And we are logged in. Let's check the IP address. Now I'm gonna try and see if I can reach it from my Kali Linux machine. So let me ping. Uh, 172.16.1.103 and I'm able to ping it so that means it's reachable now let's run nmap against the uh, metasploitable uh, let's run like two commands here let's do nmap 172.16.1.103 these are the different ports that are open on that metasploitable device you can also do dash v for verbose here and let's try another one so there's quite a few things you can do with the Metasploitable. 
So those are just quick examples of some of the commands you can run against it so that you can see what vulnerabilities that are on that device. So that's all for this video. I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.